the ground My ears can't hear the sound of the time Reach the sky We'll fly up to the moon I know we'll be there soon Wait and see Hello everyone. I am doing an outfit of the day video today. We are expected to have a high of 84 Fahrenheit, sunny, no rain, beautiful day. I am wearing an outfit I have repeated quite a lot this fall and winter and now as we're moving into spring, summer, but I changed the material of my blazer. This one is 100% linen, but I found myself wearing my 100% wool blazer quite a lot this winter. We had some nice cold days. I say nice because we don't get a lot of them in Naples, Florida. So I enjoy it when we have them because it gives me a chance to pull out my wool. I have several wool blazers. The one I was wearing a lot is my herringbone wool, washable wool blazer. I was wearing that one and it's a brown very similar to this sort of a reddish brown or mahogany brown and that's herringbone tweed I was wearing that with dark wash jeans black jeans white jeans a crew jeans then two weeks ago as the weather started warming up I pulled out my linen blazers I like a blazer with jeans because whether it's winter or summer, I know I have a layer to keep me warm if I need them warm, but I can easily take it off and put it on my shoulders if I don't need it anymore, or just fold it and put it over my arm. I have a white polo short, polo shirt, short sleeve. You can see it's short sleeve. Then I have white jeans and ballet flats. Each of these items is classic. Classic blazer, classic polo shirt, classic jeans, classic ballet flats. So this outfit is timeless. I will be able to wear it in five years. I'll be able to wear it in 10 years, 20 years. This blazer is now sold out. However, there's one very similar online and also in plaid, but they added a tiny strip of it looks like aqua through it and I will show it to you here on screen both by the same designer so I will link to that one down below in fact I will link to everything I'm talking about and showing down below in the description box I will also pin those links to the top of comments and I will put it all on my blog and I will link to my blog down below. My hair, as you recall, last time I tried a new setting foam, but I had too much oil in my hair and I couldn't tell if it worked very well. I have combed through my hair multiple times. I went to a meeting, I had lunch, I've walked around, I've had a hat on and off my head, combed my hair again. I filmed my out this outfit this morning, it's now 102 in the afternoon and I th think I filmed my outfit at 10 a.m. So my hair has lasted well. I don't use any hairspray and as you can see I can comb my fingers through my hair. It's very natural looking. I used just one pump of this foam and it makes a big puff and then I just blend it in my hands and get it between my fingers and then I just run it through my hair and comb it and then I rolled it in my hot rollers. I did dampen the ends with water just a little bit before I put in the rollers and I left my rollers in an hour and then I took them out and I let my curls set for about five minutes before I comb through it with my hands and then a comb. I wanted a very natural look. I did not want uh, tight, tight curls, so that's why I did not spray with any hairspray. Now, I do need to get my hair trimmed. 
I've been cutting it myself for the last several years, so it's all uneven. It's not very well done, and it's getting long, so of course the shorter your hair is, the curlier it will be, or at least it is for me, and the longer I notice the curls last, but I think for the length of my hair, it's doing pretty well. My outfit I talked about, my handbag I mentioned, you can see a hint of it here. This strap actually does not come with this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette Accessoire. It is a three piece bag set, which I'm sure most of you have seen before. It comes with a, you have a choice of either buying a khaki green web strap with it or a pastel pink web strap. I chose the pastel pink web strap. I will show you a picture of all, everything here on screen because I'm not using them. I like to use this one when I want a more understated look. So everything is all the same. I'm also wearing it actually backwards. This is the front. Once in a while, I like to wear it this way, especially if it's raining, to protect the Vachetta leather. But also, it is all one plain look rather than being broken up by the Vachetta. So I like that one I want to simplify even further. It's all the same with a touch of this leather here. I am not going to do any more talking about this bag here because I thought I would do a dedicated video. I've had this for almost five years, this set, and I thought it would be a good idea to do a review, a five-year review, and go into more detail about the bag. When I bought it, how I bought it, how I found out about it, was I influenced by someone online? I'll go into all that detail in another video, but I'm showing you a little hint sneak peek here. I have shown this before on my channel, but I want to show you, and I do have inserts. I will go into all that detail on the next video if you're interested, but I do want to talk about a few items in here. My lip color, and this is my Kleenex pouch. This is faux leather, but I love how it's pebbled, and I love how it hides the Kleenex. So it's easy to access, see? And then it's just hidden away inside this. And it looks like leather. So I will link to this down below. It comes in black in this. I have it in peach. It's like a light beige, peachy beige. I will link to all of them down below. My lip color, this is probably my favorite lip color and consistency, but in particular the color. It is a peachy pink and a very subdued color, and I just think it works beautifully year round. And if I could only have one color of lipstick, it would be this. This one is by Gabriel, it's called Eve, and it looks the same on my lips really as it does in the uh, tube. Isn't that a pretty color? Now I did reapply this after lunch, but I'm telling you I didn't really need to. It stays on your lips beautifully. And my lips, lips do not feel dry ever. And I'm carrying as always my Chanel dual-sided mirror so it has a magnified mirror and a regular mirror so I can easily apply my lip color okay so my mirror my lip color Kleenex because I'm going to a meeting I've I found myself carrying papers and folders around in the last couple of weeks and the papers were ending up falling out in my car <laughs> and I thought I need to get something. I don't want to carry a briefcase because I'm not in business. I just want something simple to carry papers in that looks good but isn't too bulky. 
and I found this wonderful, wonderful document holder online. It is 100% leather. It's available in black also, and I believe another color. I don't remember the other color, but it is all leather. And the interior, oh, I've got some fuzz on it. The interior is suede. Now, you can see the interior suede. It's gold hardware. This is removable, so you don't have to have this strap, but it also is all leather. It is under $24. It's ridiculous price for the quality. Absolutely, I don't know how they do that, but you can see I have my legal pad in there. I have my notebook. You can also stick a pen in there. It's, it's wonderful. It works beautifully. I'm not having papers come out that I don't want coming out all over my car. And it blends nicely with my browns. I'm thinking of getting the black when I'm carrying black accessories. It's such a reasonable price. I will link to it down below. <laughs> I just, I can't believe for real leather, it's such a good price. What else did I want to talk about? jewelry. These are new. I splurged and bought these for myself. These are cultured freshwater pearls, I believe. If that's not correct, I will put the correct type of pearl on screen, but I believe that's what they are. In 14 karat gold, lever back, pierced earrings, and there are two little diamonds in the center. I'll put a close-up on screen. I love them because they are timeless. They're pearls. They go beautifully with a casual outfit. This is a refined casual. I'm wearing a polo shirt. It looks wonderful with just a polo shirt and jeans. I just think they're so pretty, so ladylike, timeless. I'll be able to wear these in 50 years. They're wonderful for any age. These would make a wonderful Mother's Day gift if you want to hint for a Mother's Day gift. If there are any men watching this who have wives or girlfriends, this would be wonderful. Then for rings, you've seen my Boucheron ring. It is yellow, white, and rose, 18 karat gold. My 14 karat gold pave ring, diamond ring. My wedding set, and then my watch I've had for, oh gosh, five or so years. This is from Michelle. It is such a fun watch. It is a silicone band. It's fun and casual and it, this one happens to have gold hardware but you can find them with silver. If you love the look of the Chanel ceramic watch but don't want to spend that much money, the Michelle silicone watch is a wonderful option alternative i will link to both down below because both are timeless both are lovely can be worn year round but if you love white in the summer they're especially fun in the summer my hat i have had this for i don't know six years quite a while it is still available online and i will link to it it is this hat. It is, I believe, cotton, but it is stiff. Uh, but the outside of it, I believe, is cotton. You can see the material here. It has a leather chin strap or wind strap. I find this very handy because of two reasons. Number one, when it's windy, I pull it up under my chin. Otherwise, I leave it hanging loose so it's not so constricting. Secondly, when I'm walking in and out of stores, if I'm going to be in a department store for a long time, I don't want to be wearing my hat. All I do is take the hat off and let this hang around my neck. It's so easy. I don't have to worry about losing my hat. I just love a hat with a chin strap. So I will show you what this looks like at the end of the video with my outfit.
my sunglasses I have shown them to you before but not in a while they are sort of cat eye but more oval cat eye and they are tortoise I thought they went well with the brown so look for my handbag video coming up in a few days I will say I do not use this for coins many of you know what I use this for but I will talk about that more in my next video but if you want more details please look for my next video once it's available I will link it down below but when this this video first comes out this one won't have come out yet so the link won't be there but after a couple of days I will put the link to this video down below as well Coming up next, wait, did I talk about my makeup? Did I tell you about, I think, everything is a green beauty brand cosmetic, I think. I'm wearing eyeshadow, mascara, powder blush, powder foundation. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention. I see so many videos talking about older skin should never wear powder foundation or powder, and they're constantly telling you, you must wear a cream foundation or you must wear a liquid foundation if you have dry skin. I'm telling you, I have very dry skin. I get the most natural, the most non-cakey look with powder foundation. The trick is to use a very good moisturizer. And then on top of it, I put a touch of either shea butter or triple purified petroleum jelly anywhere I want to highlight. I do not wear powder under my eyes. I've talked about that before. It gives a more natural look. But if you look at my skin, I think it gives a much more natural look than a cream or a liquid would on my skin. The other reason why I don't wear cream or liquid is because liquids and creams are more easily absorbed into the skin and therefore into your body. I try to put as little on top of my skin as possible and as infrequently as possible because everything builds up and becomes toxins in the body. Unless it's a food, and a food that you're not in, allergic to or intolerant of, it's, it's not great to have it on your skin all the time and in a great amount. And if you add a liquid to that, then it really is, is more easily absorbed. So, of course, my lip color is a liquid. And sometimes I do wear cream, or not a liquid, I should say a cream, creamy but moist, and sometimes I do use moist cheek color. That's it in terms of moist products. And then I do add a bit of shea or triple purified petroleum jelly around my eyes to keep that area from being dry, but it also gives a highlight. Coming up next is my outfit. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.
Thank you.